What are immunostimulants? Immunostimulants are chemical substances that are capable of increasing the overall activity of a normal immune system as well as normalizing the function of an impaired immune system or immune restoration. Immunostimulants can be grouped under chemical agents, bacterial preparations, polysaccharides, animal or plant extracts, nutritional factors, and cytokines. Assalamu alaikum and hello doctor, my name is Ashraf and I will be talking about the use of immunostimulants. So I will only mention the first three uses and the other will be mentioned or presented by a group member. First of all, immunostimulants will stimulate antibody responses. Immunostimulants are substances that activate or boost the immune system responses to foreign substances like pathogens or vaccines. They can elicit antibody responses via a variety of mechanisms such as the activation of antigen presenting cells which are the examples like dendritic cells and macrophages which is responsible for capturing and presenting the antigens to the T cell. Besides that, uh, the immunostimulant have the ability to stimulate the lysosome activity in immune cells such as the macrophages, neutrophils and dendritic cells. Lysosomes are cellular organelles that contain enzymes that can degrade a wide range of biological materials including pathogens and cellular debris immunostimulants aid in the destruction of pathogens and the subsequent immune response by stimulating lysosomal activity such as the process of phagocytosis. Moreover, the immunostimulants can stimulate the complement system such as the classical pathway, lectin pathway and the alternative pathway. The complement system consists uh, of a complex series of proteins that work together to identify and eliminate pathogens. Immunostimulants can activate or enhance different aspects of the complement system promoting a more robust immune response. For instance, the immunostimulants can directly trigger the alternative pathway by interacting with certain complement components or by promoting the formation uh, of surface complexes that activate complement proteins. So that is all for me. I will leave the next part to my member, group member. Thank you. My name is Akil and I'm going to continue to the next point. Stimulate natural killer cell. Immunostimulants can directly activate and improve NK cell cytotoxicity. These chemicals can bind to particular receptors on NK cells, activating signaling pathway that enhance NK cell activation and proliferation. As a result, NK cells become more capable of recognizing and destroying contaminated pathogenic and tumor cells. Increased bacterial activity. Immunostimulants can stimulate aquatic organisms' immune response, which can help beneficial microbes in indirectly. By limiting the growth of dangerous bacteria, a healthy immune system contributes the, to the maintenance of a balanced microbial population. Immunostimulants establish an environment favorable for the growth and activity of beneficial microorganisms by strengthening the host immune response. Facilitate function of phagocytic cell. Immunostimulants can cause phagocytic cells to activate and mature. They have the ability to trigger receptors on the cell surface, thereby beginning signaling pathway. Hello, my name is Husna Hazwani, BS211486. I will present on the most common use immunostimulants in aquaculture. The first one is glucan or also called as beta glucans. They are linear, unbranched, homopolysaccharides that are found in nature and have just glucose as their structural constituents. It can improve immune system performance without making it overactive, lowering LDL cholesterol levels in fish, preventing infection, infections, boosting resistance to infectious pathogens, promoting wound healing, and acting as adjuvants in the treatment of cancer. 
Beta-glucans can be used to treat intestinal issues and control mucosal immunity in the fish gut since they are indigestible. that has a considerable immunostimulatory effect against bacterial infection and parasitic infestation. It improves the non-specific defense mechanism by enhancing the cell-mediated cytotoxicity, lymphokin production, suppression of well function, and stimulation of phagocytic activity of macrophage and neutrophils. Chitin is the polysaccharide that is mostly found in the exoskeleton of insects and crustaceans, and also in cellular of different. It uses the activity of microbiome and provides resistance to pathogen. It has stimulating effect in growth and survival, and is used as immunostimulants in shrimp. Chitin is the byproduct of chitin acidulation. Chitin is the non-specific. To conclude, the use of immunostimulants in aquaculture has shown promising results in enhancing the immune response and overall health of cultured aquatic, aquatic organisms. Immunostimulants are substances or compounds that can activate or enhance the immune system, helping organisms to better defend against pathogens and diseases.